know, China is building its own internet focused on, on very different values. And it's now exporting their vision of the internet to other countries. Now until recently, the internet in almost every country outside of China has been defined by American platforms with strong free expression values. But there's no guarantee that these values will win out. A decade ago, almost all of the major internet platforms were American. Today, six of the top 10 are Chinese. And we're beginning to see this in social media too. While our services like WhatsApp are used by protesters and activists everywhere due to strong encryption and privacy protections, on TikTok, the Chinese app growing quickly around the world, mentions of these same protests are censored, even here in the US. Is that the internet that we want? So this is one of the reasons why we don't operate Facebook, Instagram, or our other services in China. I, I wanted our services in China because I believe in connecting the whole world and I thought you know, maybe we could help create a more open society. And This is something that I worked hard on for a long time. But we could never come to agreement on, on what it would take for us to operate there and, and they never let us in. And now uh, we have more freedom to speak out and stand up for the values that we believe in and fight for free expression around the world. So this question of which nation's values are going to determine what speech is allowed for decades to come really puts into perspective our debates about the content issues of the day. Because while we may disagree on exactly where to draw the line on specific issues, we at least can disagree. That's what free expression is. And the fact that we can even have this conversation means that we're at least debating from some common values. If another nation's platform set the rules, our discourse can be defined by a completely different set of values. So to push back on this, you know, as our policymakers work to define internet policy and regulation, to address public safety and the important social issues, I think that we should also be proactive and write policy that helps the values of voice and expression triumph around the world. The second challenge to expression is from the platforms themselves, including us. 